Internet scams are constantly evolving. The FBI documented a record of more than $10.2 billion in losses due to internet crimes in 2022. Right now, con artists around the world are likely targeting a computer or mobile device near you. So, here's a look at the most common internet scams, and what you can do to safeguard your personal information and your wallet. Disaster Relief Scams When disaster strikes, so do fraudsters. Whether it's a pandemic or something weather-related. Hiding behind the guise of an actual aid organization, scammers typically use a tragedy or natural disaster to con you out of your money. By thinking you're donating to an emergency relief fund, you unwittingly provide credit card or other e-payment information. How to avoid them Only give to established, legitimate organizations. Visit GuideStar or Charity Navigator to verify the validity of any charitable organization you're considering supporting before you donate. Phishing Scams So, you receive an email from a seemingly familiar enterprise that you deem legitimate such as your bank, your university, or a retailer that you frequent. The message directs you to a site, usually to verify personal information such as email addresses and passwords, that then steals your information and exposes your computer to attack by scammers. Phishing scams are some of the most common attacks on consumers. According to the FBI, 300,497 people fell victim to phishing scams in 2022. Collectively, they lost $52.1 million or about $173 each. According to the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC, phishing emails and text messages frequently tell stories to trick people into clicking on a link or opening an attachment. Phishing attempts may say they've noticed suspicious activity or login attempts on your account, claim there's a problem with your account or your payment information, say you need to confirm or update personal information, include a fake invoice, ask you to click on a link to make a payment, claim you're eligible to sign up for a government refund, or offer a coupon for free goods or services. Grandparent Scams With grandparent scams, a fraudster poses as a panicked grandchild who needs cash right away for some emergency, to get out of jail, to leave a foreign country, or to pay a hospital bill. The COVID-19 pandemic made it even easier to sell compelling lies. How to avoid them? Resist the urge to act immediately. Scammers pull at your heartstrings and rely on you to respond quickly, before you've had a chance to think things through. Verify the caller's identity and ask questions that a stranger wouldn't be able to answer. Tech Support Scams with this scam, you'll receive a phone call, an email, or a pop-up warning indicating that your computer is infected. The scammer then prompts you to download an application that allows them to take control of your computer remotely, downloads an actual virus or otherwise makes you believe that something is wrong, and tells you that they can fix the problem for a fee. Another way to reach you is through search results. Tech support scammers work hard to get their websites to show up in online search results or they run their own ads. These scammers often ask you to pay using a bank wire, gift card, or money transfer app. How to avoid them. Ask yourself, how would they know anything about your computer? But if you did happen to give a scammer remote access to your computer, then immediately update your security software, run a thorough scan, and delete anything it identifies as a problem. Fake Antivirus Software Fake antivirus software ads and pop-ups try to make you believe that your computer is infected with a virus, or dozens of them, and that you can fix these problems by downloading their software. These ads are also called scareware. These scammers get you in two ways. They gain access to your credit card information, or they gain access to your computer. When you click the download link, you get a virus, malware, or ransomware installed instead of an antivirus software. Thanks for tuning in to PHR Sharp.
Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our sharp insights and tips. Drop a comment below, we'd love hearing from you. Until next time, stay sharp and explore more.